This is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to smash some text. Now, I'm sure this is something you've seen many times in maybe infographics or animated videos. And it's really easy to do with a filter called Shatter. Now, if you've never used Shatter before, there's some little bit of weird things about it. And let me just kind of step you through this. Let's create a new composition, call it Smash. Let's create a new solid. That's just Command or Control Y on your keyboard. It brings up the solid settings. Okay, now let's bring in our text that we want to be smashed. I'm just going to center this. And then let's bring in our text that we want to do the smashing. Let's center this as well. Now the text that needs to do the smashing, I'm gonna turn 3D. And at this point at uh, 16 frames is where I want it to hit. So I'm going to open up my position. I just hit P on the keyboard, keyframe the position, go back in time, and then go backwards in Z space, and it will sm f slam down right there on the smash. Now if you turn on the motion blur, just check this right here and then check that box. It's gonna look like it's coming down a lot faster. Now, the next thing is to add the shatter effect to the text. But the shatter effect likes to start its processing or start the shattering at the begin beginning of the clip. So I can't just apply it and have it start here easily. Best way to do this is to duplicate this layer so Command or Control D, and then I'm gonna hit the left bracket and it's gonna shift the layer all the way over here. Then I'm gonna bring, take this bottom layer, cut it, that's Alt or Option, right bracket, and then just move it over so they don't overlap. Now what I wanna do is then go to the Effect, Simulation, Shatter. Let's come in here to the settings, change it from Wireframe and Forces to Rendered. Let's change the shape to Glass, Let's change the force up to about 10. Let's take the extrusion depth down to zero and let's take the gravity in the physics area completely zero. And what that's gonna do is it's going to smash. Now you can see it kinda, there's a frame before it actually starts to smash. So I probably want to move this over one frame. And then there we go. Now, if you want to add a motion blur to the shatter effect, you have to add another filter. So if we go to effect, down to time, and if we do the CC force motion blur, then it's going to add a motion blur to that. That is how to smash text with the shatter effect. 